Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got part two of my Tampa Bay Buccaneers gun tight series today. Uh, if you guys didn't catch part one, I'll put a link in the description for that. I guarantee you is worth watching that video because I showed in just two plays that you're looking at right now, the Bucks seams and the PA Bucks cross. I pretty much showed how to home run just about every single defense in the game using just those two plays. So it's definitely worth your time if you guys want to check out part one, if this is the first part that you're catching. Other than that, I'm going to be adding a lot of plays to this series today. I put out an entire Bucks breakdown uh, maybe a, a week or two ago as well. I'll try to put a link in the description for that as well, but I didn't necessarily have all of the plays that I'm going to be showing uh, today in that because I recorded that at the beginning of the year. So we're going to start off, like I said, we'll get some home run plays going, but we're going to start off with some dink and dunk plays. Uh, one of my more favorite plays is probably the quick hook. So let's go ahead and let's pick that first. So like I said, we got a lot of home run plays in this formation already. Uh, so to me, adding some dink and dunk plays is probably, you know, smart to do. So one of my favorite things to do on the left side here, we have a couple of good plays, a couple of good possibilities, a couple of good opportunities you could do. Number one, the X route. I can do two things with him. Number one, I can put him on a streak route and try to get the Y route open. Or if I think it's like a cover three, which this looks more like it's probably a cover two, I can just put the uh, the X route here on a flat and he'll get open quite a bit. Uh, motioning the running back to the line is probably one of the better ways to go in a cover three scenario as well. And, and then the, the B route, I typically want to streak him. I just think pulling the coverage back is one of the better ways to go. But you don't have to do that. If you want to make this as easy as possible, all you really have to do is motion out the running back and flat route the uh, the X route. That's probably the two things that I would do the most. Uh, and then if it's a cover two, like I said, this is a cover two, you don't even really have to make any adjustments. You can see right here how this guy just gets outside. I mean, and that's a, a large part of that is due to the flat route. So let's go and let's watch the replay real quick. So like I said, just the fact that he's on a flat route, you're going to see this flat route in cover two is really going to pull that coverage down a lot faster. And on the other side, I mean, if we take a look at what the other side's doing, uh, and because I have uh, the running back going down on a route, I mean, I don't even think he even got out that far. It looks like he just got stuck. Uh, but you can see typically, I mean, the, the, the cover two cornerback on this side is off way further. He's closer to the 40 than this guy here. He's closer to the 45. You can see the difference. And like I said, it's based off of that route. It wouldn't have made a difference if this guy would have came out on the route quicker or not. But you can see how the depth of those cornerbacks changes because this, this guy's trying to drop down and take away that route. And that's why this uh, this outside corner route just gets going the way that it does. Even though I didn't really have my fastest guy. I mean, I have a good receiver there, Mike Evans. But if I really wanted to, I'd probably put Brett Perriman there and he would definitely be going even easier. But you can see how, you know, just a simple flat route can really change the dynamic of this play so here we have what probably looks like a cover three that's one of the things about this particular look is you're going to have um you know I, I, like i said i like to put this guy on a streak the drag route really doesn't help considering that pair that the, it's mostly an outside play anyway the running back Perriman, these are all outside routes, so I don't really need the drag. That's why I like to just pull coverage back as much as possible. You can see how right there, I threw it a little bit late to the running back. I want to throw it to him in the flat more. I'll have to do that again so I can time that a little bit better. But putting him on that streak, is, it's going to help when it comes to the running back. So right here, like I said, right into the flat. Don't wait for him to turn up because you can see once he turns up, it kind of gets him in trouble. Then on the other side, uh, I mean, if I want to work that, I could always try to work that flat route. You know what I mean? That's going to be there a lot of times. You can see there they kind of drop on it. But ultimately, I mean, this, this corner route is going to work well against cover two or cover three. So just a quick look here. Now we're going to cover four uh, just to show you how it's going to have that same effect. And like I said, all these routes are pretty much attacking to the outside. So the Y route here, he's getting outside no matter what. Getting bad throws because Jameis Winston is complete trash. But you can see it doesn't really matter what the defense is. Um, these outside routes are always going to be there. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do that one more time. Like I said, I still, I still think the running back's one of the better ways to go. He's a quick check down, get it out quick, catch and run. Hopefully you have a better running back than this team does. That's one of the biggest issues uh, with this team, aside from having a horrible quarterback. Until next year anyway, until Tom Brady comes and saves the day. So here we go one more time. Off coverage, like I said, just pass leading outside. You can see how easily uh, he finds the space in that zone because that flat route just pulls all those outside zones down and makes that play successful. So the last defense I'm going to show this against is a simple man blitz because obviously that's one of the most popular uh, defenses that people run. I just picked a, a random mid blitz. So I'm not necessarily running against 
um, you know, uh, the one that everybody runs. But just to give you an idea of how this works, if you want to put the tight end as a blocker, you can't do it until you motion him across. He won't do it in the current position, but if you motion him across, now you can have a sixth blocker. And the reason I'm blocking him and not the running back is because the running back's the route. If you want to, you can always take the running back away. Uh, I'm typically going to have success with the double drag look. Um, the, the Y route's going to have success. If I really need it, I can do that. You can see he's going to have success outside, and obviously the drag's going to have success. These are just simple adjustments you can make in just about every play. But if you want to hit a home run, which is pretty much the idea, I want to keep the running back. So as long as they're not blitzing seven or anything ridiculous like that, leave the running back doing what he's doing. And by the time he turns up field because it's a wheel route, you're going to have a home run. Now, like I said, once again, no, not a good quarterback, not a good running back. But you can see how uh, you, know, you can easily have success against just about any defense. So something that I didn't really get to show too much last time, I wanted to touch on this a little bit with the Bucks seams play. You can really create a home run against cover four uh, with that play and the play I'm going to show next, which is the Bucks post. The Bucks post is a little bit more set up for this, uh, but you can you can create that uh, with the Bucks scenes as well. Let's go. Let's pick the Bucks post. Uh, like I said, I wanted to show it in the last play, but I can show it in this play real quick. Uh, but it's against cover four palms, cover four quarters. You're going to be able to hit. A, it kind of glitches that defense out pretty quickly. So all I'm really going to do, motion this guy to the line of scrimmage. Uh, and then I'm going to put uh, this X route here on a flat. You really just need a bunch of short routes. And you can see how, you can see already the Y route just totally glitches out this defense. That was not a good throw once again. I'm doing my best with Jameis Winston as much as I can. But you can see the way this play starts. I've touched on this before in the past. Cover four quarters, cover four palms. These are not very good defenses to me. That's why you never see me run them in my game plays. Uh, but you can see right as the play starts, look how this cornerback drops down. I'll show it how he looks when, it, when I run it kind of stock. He doesn't do that. He drops back a little bit quicker. But you can see right here, I mean, he's already open. You know what I mean? Like if I if I blob it and pass lead it out to the side, he's pretty much open within 10 yards of the snap. And this play has all the same cover two beaters like I showed in the previous video. You can make uh, the same type of adjustments. Like if you have a cover two, in the previous video I showed, all you really have to do is put this running back to the line. Just kind of create the same look that I have right now with Evans in a flat, uh, the RB route streaking back, and then the, and the Y route's going to be successful against cover two. So like I said, it's very similar because it has a pr pretty similar route structure. The same goes for cover three. I mean, you can have that same success with cover three. You just kind of have to, you know, create a look kind of like this, kind of like the one I have right now, just streaking the inside routes. It's a very similar route. I mean, it's pretty much all these plays in this book, home run cover threes and cover twos. Uh, you just have to kind of create what I'm doing here. So like I said, I went over that in the previous video. I'll just go over it real quick in this one. Uh, it's still worth watching that first video, but basically the, the Y route and the A route, you just put on a streak, and that's pretty much it. I don't really have to do too much else. Just motioning out Evans will have the effect needed uh, where it will create that spacing that the Y route has. You can see, I mean, it's just, like I said, this is just a really glitchy formation. So I'm going to end the video uh, with the Bucks Z spot. Um, I really touched on just about everything here. I mean, even in plays like... Um, you know, the mesh is a pretty good play, a pretty good man beater, but I just basically created that uh, exact same look out of the quick hook, so I don't really need to touch on that. Uh, the bench is something that I touched on in the past. Very simple and basic play. You should know how to run that without me going over it uh, in a video. Uh, and then, you know, plays like the Bucks corner uh, would, have been, would essentially be a pretty similar setup to the bench anyway because they're very similar plays. So, to me, the best play to end this video on is the Bucks Z spot. There's definitely some uniqueness to this. So, I picked the uh, random nickel because um, the adjustments aren't going to change based off of play. Uh, whatever you see, whether it's a cover three or a man, whatever this particular play is, because it's going to be one of those two. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to streak this B route, and then I'm going to motion out the running back again. That's something you're going to see quite a bit, is me motioning the running back to the line. It's pretty much consistent throughout these plays. And then once again, putting uh, Perriman on a flat. So my first read is going to be the flats once again, if the running back's there, if Perriman's there. If not, if you have like that right there, that was a man coverage uh, that I was expecting. I mean, the, the receiver didn't get out as much as I wanted, but he was open pretty quickly. Uh, but that's definitely going to be a very good man beating route. Uh, and then last but not least, obviously, I put the, uh, the B route on a streak. So the, the man routes are going to be Evans and they're going to be Howard. And then the uh, the zone routes are going to be, I mean, Howard and Evans will beat certain zones as well. The, like, Evans will beat cover three, Howard will beat cover two. So there's a couple, uh, you know, different reads that you can make. 
Uh, the Y route's really getting banged inside, but that's one of the things that I like about this this particular play compared to the other plays is the Y route is such a late releasing route. A lot of times he's going to get open based off of that. So that's why you see I'm going to him quite a bit. I mean, it's not a route that typically, I mean, the user's going to fall asleep on it. You can see right here, he's getting open once again. This C route, I'm not a huge fan of those, I call them C routes, but I'm not a huge fan of those particular routes when they're on the outside like that. But on this particular play, it just gets open all the time. And like I said, it's one. I'm not even really looking at the other routes because it's definitely one of the safest routes on this particular play. Once again, here we got it. Once it's going to be going again. Uh, but I got hit. I mean, I'm surprised that that wasn't. You know, that could have been more if I had a, if I had timed that a little bit better. But you can see, I mean, this is pretty much the play. And then, like I said, if I want to steal to these flats, I've been doing that most of this video, so I'm not going to bother too much. I'm just going to highlight the Y route. But you can see, I mean, the way that he runs that route in and then out. I mean, he's just creating so much spacing by himself outside every time that route is run so what i like about this particular play and this particular route is just the way that this receiver just kind of caves in the defense look how what happens when this play starts whether it's man or zone you're going to notice notice this quite a bit the second he just takes once again within 10 yards look at all that green grass you know he's going that direction you know he's going there your opponent doesn't necessarily know that but that combined with the flat route is just creating huge separation and space now compare that to the other side of the field and your zones and your man coverages are all going to be like they normally are spread out even you know doing their job but this here just because of the way this route is and the fact that it's inside close to the line like that which is rarely found in plays you can see he just the route by itself just creates so much space to the outside once he finally makes that break and he's pretty much going to be gone half the time so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vid there if you guys want to see uh, a part three out of this or more stuff out of the bucks i definitely have more stuff that i could highlight out of the buccaneers playbook do me a favor let me know in the comment section hit the like button i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below